What is going on, everyone? Welcome back to another episode of Little Root Laddering. So, uh, my good friend Jay sent me this team for this week. I know him and Aaron, who, you know, is, of course, one of my, my very good friends and mods for the community has been uh, working on together. Uh, and I'm really, really excited to talk about this. And I think this team is very, very cool. And I'm excited to not only play it, but also share it with our community. So, Orangaroo is a Pokemon that I think was really underplayed and like underexplored in sword and shield but at the same time like i think that it was just it underperformed because it wasn't very good in that meta um and in reality i think it could have a very very good place in this dyna in this uh format because it's just so freaking powerful having access to inner focus plus trick room means that you're basically impossible to prevent Trick Room from going up outside of KOing it, which is why you have something like Mousehold here to redirect hits to be able to get Trick Room up. Um, between Inner Focus, Mental Herb, and Follow Me, like it's impossible to really stop this from going up. Um, it, it's gonna it's gonna take a miracle and then some to be able to prevent Trick Room from Orangaroo going up here. Plus it has its signature attack here of Instruct, which, when paired with either Arboliva or Torkoal here, just means that we're able to do so much additional damage that it's just fine that a Rangaroo doesn't attack. Like, it's not the damage dealer here. It's really just this really interesting support Pokemon that is able to benefit and showcase the power of the, uh, the attacking Pokemon on this team. So we have uh, Throat Spray Arboliva here with Hyper Voice next to Instruct means that you eat your Throat Spray and are able to fire off plus one Hyper Voices at that point. Uh, we're Terra Normal so we can do extra damage with it, of course. Giga Drain so we have a little bit of recovery as well. Earth Power just because, you know, naturally good coverage. And then the other piece of this is we have Torkoal here with Eruption uh, between Terra Fire, Sun, Charcoal, and instruct you're just going to be able to pick up ko's all day with this if torkoal stays healthy eruption next to orangaroo is going to be ko's uh, then we have to round out the team here you know we have house of mouse uh one of my favorite pokemon in this generation follow me here because it's very powerful helps orangaroo get trick room set up uh helping hand to be able to help uh, do uh, extra damage if it's not able to and Population Bomb because, you know, it's it's so funny. It's funny when the mice KO Pokemon. It's, I love it. I love Mousehold so much. Uh, and then, you know, rounding out the team here, we have Dragapult and King Gambit. Um, I think Dragapult, you know, being one of the fastest Pokemon in this format, has a very good place and can be very useful as well. And I think King Gambit is interesting. It's not a Pokemon I've played with, like, personally. Um, you know, I've, I've played against it a couple of different times. I've played... Uh, I've, you know, had a couple different collabs where I've had people playing it as well, but it's not something I've personally played, so I'm excited to see how well it fits on this team. That's the team! You know, we're gonna try to set Trick Room, we're gonna try to click Hyper Voice or Eruption, and hope it's good. I'm very excited to showcase this, as always, Team ID up in the top right-hand corner, pick that up while it's available, and uh, shoutouts to Jay and Aaron for putting this one together for me, so let's jump on the ladder and see what we can do today. Ooh, alright, so we're gonna, we're gonna try to get a Flamigo out with uh, some big old stat boost here. That looks like the plan from our opponent. So I think our Believer looks really good here. Do I want Dragapult or do I want to just really go hard on Trick Room stuff? I don't think hard Trick Room is all that great here. I think Dragapult looks really appealing. So if they are trying to final gambit their Tatsugari to get Dondozo in next to it to then faint, we can redirect the final gambit. Which then forces them to really adapt to what they're trying to do. It's Tatsugari Garganactyl. What is Garganachi gonna do here? It can't be status, so I can't yawn. But I think this is just Trick Room plus Follow Me. Oh, are they gonna blow up? 
Is this something that uh, Garkanachi does? Yeah, okay. You take that, right, Oringaroo? Oh, yeah, by a mile. <laughs> Alright. Now, Trick Room goes up. They bring out Don Dozo. I can yawn it. Plus, follow me. Yep, yep, yep. All completely fine. We will yawn. I will click follow me. I could population bomb here, but I think follow me is just safer. They're terraing here into what? Is this dragon? Is ground, water, steel. Okay. Remember that time I brought Torkoal? Pepper Farm remembers. EQ. Take that, right? Oh, yeah. Orangaroo is what you call kind of insane. Tatsugari is going to go down, but that's fine. They bring out Flamigo. Oh, no! We're fine. We're completely fine. Star is going to copy all the stat boosts. So I can instruct my Arboliva. Actually, no. I'm going to yawn here and protect. They're not going to be able to do anything if they're both asleep. This should probably just be another earthquake coming from the uh, the Dondozo, right? Yep. Which I think Orangaroo eats. All right, that's fine. That's completely fine. The Don's gonna take a nap. Flamigo is going to take a nap next turn. And then I can bring out Dragapult here and lock into, um, like, Phantom Force? I could lock into Dragon Darts. That doesn't seem terrible. Flamigo is going to be faster than Dragapult after Trick Room. I think Dragon Darts is fine, and I think Hyper Voice is also fine. That's honestly really solid damage into the, uh, the Flamigo at neutral. Dawn is asleep. I really need to take that out sooner rather than later. They have sleep talk? Oh, okay. That's really solid damage. Maybe... Oh, man, I didn't even think about that. Should have locked in, I think. Their life orb, but now they go to sleep. Okay. We're fine. We're fine? Last turn of Trick Room. 
Yeah, we're fine. So I can yell at the bird this turn, take it out. Now it's a 1v1 versus a Steel Dondozo where I have Earth Power. Man, Sleep Talk is not something I was ready for. Really, really lucky that they've hit Rest twice. I'm assuming this is order up. No, it's just going to be earthquake. But now that it's going to set terrain, so your earthquakes are going to do even less now? Perfect. That's really solid damage, too. And I am going to stay a grass type because I want the earthquakes to do even less. Yeah, this is this is perfect. Crit, never lucky. Now they can rest, but I think I think we win this end game. Because now they're forced to sleep for two turns. But I mean, I get two free earth powers here. And I also get my recovery. Yeah, I think I think we're fine. And like, if I need to, I can also Giga. I can Giga Drain for some extra HP. Hit rest again, please. Wave crash. Okay, yeah, I just resist everything if I stay as a grass type. <clears throat> Crit one time. All right, I need them to hit rest this turn, and we win. They hit Rest or Earthquake, I think we win. Man, I should have locked into Phantom Force. That might actually cost me this game. Yes! Yes! <laughs> Got him! <laughs> really, really interesting game that I made way harder on myself. Uh, they're also doing trick room things here with Orangaroo and Ndidi, but they have a an interesting fast mode here as well with Lilligant plus Torkoal. I believe is really interesting here. I think Mousehold is also quite good. Um, Orangaroo and Mousehold are both Terra Grass. I don't think we talked about this. Being able to just, like, ignore Sleep Powders, I think is very important. Or, like, Spore, I think, is the more common one. Um, yeah, I think Trick Room's very good here. How slow is Arboliva compared to Torkoal? 39. And Torkoal is... 22. Okay. So, unfortunately... we. Their Torkoal is going to be slower than Arboliva, so I don't think it's quite good here. But I do think Mousehold plus, like, Orangaroo is fine with Torkoal and Dragapult here. I think these four are good. Um, I think this gives us game if they try to do their fast mode with Lilligant. I think this gives us game if they try to go, like, Torkoal stuff here as well. Yeah, let's do it. This seems... On, on paper, this seems like a pretty tough matchup. Hariyama seems very powerful. Um, Annihilate, I think, is very good as well. So yeah, let's let's see what our opponent's got going on. See what we can do to uh, counteract it. It's gonna be a Rangaru Annihilate from them. Hmm. I kind of want to just population bomb this Orangaroo and set Trick Room here. I think this is fine. I kind of also like the idea of like instructing 
population bomb. I think that's absolutely fantastic and adorable. Oh no, my mice! Like, I mean, if they're willing to give up Annihilate for my mice, I'm completely okay with that. And they're going to taunt, but that's completely fine because I'm Mental Herb. So Trick Room is going to go up here. We're going to get to bring in Torkoal here. Which, if they bring in their own Torkoal, is completely fine because we have Earth Power plus Instruct to be able to take them out. Question is, is what do they have? It is Torkoal. Okay. So, do we win a speed tie, and if so, um, how much do we do here? Do I want to yawn? I don't think so. I think I would just want to try to take their Torkoal out. Let's do it. Okay, their Torkoal just protects. This is fine. This is all just fine. Maybe going for Eruption there is fine. Alright, they're going to taunt us, so we are unfortunately are not going to be able to instruct, but that's fine. I still do want to... I think I want to, like, target like this. I think trying to take out the Torkoal here is correct. They are going to Terra. The question is, is into what? Probably just fire, right? Yeah, okay. Alright, we get ours off first, it's very good. An eruption now is not gonna do a lot. Because they're you know well under half. They're gonna instruct. Which again, eruption is not gonna do a lot. Sure. Our Torkoal is still above half. I'll play their Rangaroo. Not going to do a lot here, but, you know, chip damage is damage. And, yeah, I think we just try to go for the, the KO here into their Torkoal. Splitting up here with the Rangaroo is fine. Because if we, if we underspeed their Torkoal again, Earth Power will be able to take them out before they attack. If it's Speed Tide, it's whatever. We live that hit. Unless they also have Earth Power. If they also have Earth Power here, it could be interesting. Heat Wave comes out. Torkoal dodges. Uh, Orangaroo also dodges because we are much luckier than our opponent. They've already used their Terra as well, so that's going to be quite interesting for us here in this endgame. Foul Play brings them just above half as well. And their Foul Play is going to and do also damage. Rangaroo shakes off our Taunt. Question is, what is their last Pokemon here? It's just going to be Ndidi. There's Heat Wave. Psychic Surge is going to go up. That's completely fine, though. We do have Heat Wave. So I think this is a perfect time to Terra. And we'll go for the Instruct into our Torkoal here. Oh, they can they can redirect um, Instruct, can't they? I didn't see Psychic Seed from the Ndidi, so that means they're probably Sash. Terra boosted heat wave in the sun. You know, I, I would classify that as a little bit of damage. You citrus berry? Oh, yep, citrus. Perfect. We get our instruct off. As long as we connect on both, this should KO. Perfect. Torkoal sweep in the mirror. Torkoal tearing here is actually really pretty. The, the smoke cloud on his back getting, you know, some, uh, some color and animations to it is really pretty. 
Getting to really showcase what this team's all about. Toad Scroll. Mudsdale. They got a bunch of things going on over there. Um, they also have Armor Rouge, which is kind of scary. But Arboleva underspeeds it, so I'm not really all that worried about it. Um, I think this is another Mouse Hold plus a Rangaroo kind of game. With Torkoal. Eh, do I want Torkoal? Torkoal lines up really well against a lot of their things not named Armor Rouge, but we have Earth Power for it, so yes. And the question is, do I want Dragapult? I could bring King Gambit here. King Gambit lines up really well against a lot of their things. Or do I want to bring Arboleva? They have two ghosts. It's like yelling with hyper voice isn't all that effective. I think this is a King Gambit kind of game. Do need to watch out for Scarf Final Gambit, but that's why we have House of Mouse. It was really risky not clicking follow me last game. Mudsdale Toad Scroll. Okay. Alright. I kinda wanna just population bomb the uh the Toad Scroll and yawn the Mudsdale. I think we're going to. How much is this? Oh, this isn't gonna do much of anything. Looks like they're setting Trick Room here. Alright, CC into my mice is completely fine. That's exactly what I want to see happen. So, are you going for four? Or are you setting Trick Room? Oh, perfect. Literal perfect. Thanks, opponent. I appreciate you. And Torkoal underspeeds Mudsdale, right? Just quickly confirming. We should Torkoal's base twenty. Mudsdale's base thirty-five. Yep. So this is free to click eruption and instruct our Torkoal. Alright, away goes their horse. Getting that yawn off is really good for us. Alright, this is completely fine. They're gonna they're gonna flash fire into the uh, the armor roof, but I have foul play, I have earth power for that slot. I'm not really all that worried. Do you protect with Toad Scroll? No. Are we Terra Water? What are we tearing to? It is water. But you also had half HP. And this is a double eruption coming at you, so I can't imagine you live this. <laughs> Thanks for your Terra. I appreciate it. Why are we Terra Water on Toad School? Do you get like... Uh, your only water type is... Wat uh, is Rain Dance, so it has to be like Terra Water. Alright, out comes the Mudsdale again. But I can... Earth Power the Armor Rouge. I kind of want to instruct. I kind of also want to yawn the uh, the Mudsdale here. I could also click Eruption again. 
I think this is. I think yawning is better because if they do protect here, okay, they do not. Horsepower is going to do a solid chunk. My horsepower is also going to do a very solid chunk. So this is probably armor cannon coming into my Torkoal. I mean, into my uh, Aranguru this turn. No, it's just a Psy Shock. Interesting. But now I can bring out King Gambit. I can Sucker Punch the Armor Rouge, take it out. I could also protect this turn. I don't have protect. I don't have protect on either of my bonds here. Yeah, we will Sucker Punch the Armor Rouge. Hmm, this game got really hard really quickly. All right, the horse goes away once again. They have their own King Gambit. But they're Supreme Overlord. Okay. Uh, well, luckily, they're only plus one? Is that how this works? It's not like an actual boost. How does Supreme Overlord work? How does this work? Receives a 10% increase to power on their moves for each Pokemon that is fainted. Okay. Um, man, I really don't think I can take a uh, high horsepower from Mudsdale here. So I think I just have to Sucker Punch it. And how many turns of Trick Room are left? Last turn, right? I think we yawn here. I mean, that's damage. CC's easily enough to KO us, though. Yep. Alright, Orangaroo. I don't think you win this one, but come on, buddy. One time. Kowtow Cleave? Yeah, not even close. Rip. So what could we have done differently here? Them setting Trick Room for us was fine. Um, maybe, maybe Arbeliva was just the better play because then we don't. Hmm, we're better against Mudsdale in that instance. Maybe that was the play. Should have just stuck with my instincts and brought brought Arbeliva more. Trick room stuff here from our opponents as well. Um, but they have a Bomba Snow and Satitan as a fast mode here as well. Um, so, like, Torkoal just looks really appealing here. And I don't I don't think I want Arbeliva. I think this is a Dragabolt kind of kind of game. King Gambit looks fine, but I think I think this is Dragapult. And they lead like a Bomba Snow here. I can swap out my mice. I can U-turn and go into Torkoal that way, which will then prevent them from setting a uh, setting Aurora Veil. Yeah, this is. I think this is a really good matchup for us. On paper, it looks like a good matchup. Obviously, we need to play around the um, the Armor Rouge here, but you know we'll be fine. Alright, opponent. I'm a Rouge Hydreigon. Well, I think this is a. I 
I think this is kind of a Yawn Armor Rouge kind of game. Because I think they're going to Trick Room here to prevent my Trick Room from going up. And if that's the case, I'm pretty okay with this. Could have gone for follow uh, for uh, foul play there as well. Because in foul play plus uh, earth power might be enough to take it out. Show me like dark pulse. Yep. Show me life orb. Yep. Show me expanding force. That's not trick room. Oh no! This just got way harder. got way harder um i actually think i'm okay with dragapult coming out here like not playing the trick room here i think my play here is i'm gonna instruct my dragapult and i'm gonna lock into dragon darts i think i'm gonna terra they could go fairy on hydreigon i think this is fine i think this is fine By, by tearing here, I lose my weakness to dark as well. So, like, a uh, dark pulse probably is not enough to KO my dragon pulse now. And this is choice band. This is going to do a lot if they if they don't tear it to, like, steal. Okay, they're going to go out to... Indeedy. I'm okay with this. Psychic Surge is going to go up. Glad we didn't go for, like, a Sucker Punch or anything here. And they are Psychic Seed. I'm hoping this first one is enough to KO the Hydreigon. Okay, we Terra, of course, first, because we're going to be faster than the Hydreigon. Because they are Life Orb. And they are also going to Terra. Okay. Question is, is into what? They're poison. Okay. This may... I, I don't... I think with the Instruct it's going to be enough, but I don't think a single Dragon Heart is enough. That's a lot of damage. And then Indeedee takes a solid chunk here. Dark Pulse, the Oranguru is not enough to KO me. And then my Instruct is going to be enough to KO. Cool! Really cool turn. I was really close to picking up that KO on the Hydra God as well. Perfect. So we know they have Armor Rouge here in the back. Plus what is the question? And the question is, is does it outspeed my Dragapult, which should be a maybe? Mmm. Does Scarf Annihilate outspeed Dragapult? It does, right? You only need to get to 109, so you actually... I mean, not 109. Um, 109 is Trick Room, so... I mean, uh, it's Tailwind, so yeah, they should outspeed! Um, I think I like... I think I like this. I think I like preserving Dragapult here as much as possible. Okay, so they are not Scarf. That's really good information to pick up. Yeah. 
Torkoal does hang on, but that's kind of whatever. The fact that they're not Scarf is the important part there. Because now I can lock into Phantom Force, which will be enough to KO both of them. Then I'm going to protect the Torkoal this turn. Oh, man, I think I should have... I think I should have attacked into the armors. Just because I don't... Oh, man, I really don't know. I know they're not Life Orb, because that's on Hydreigon. They could be Specs. Okay, so they're the bulk up Citrus Berry set, it looks like. And yeah, Expanding Force isn't going to do anything. The Phantom Force should be enough to KO them. How many turns of terrain are left? Two. There's no way I can stall that out. Oh, I bet they are specs. I, I feel like I could have won this game. Just not knowing what the Annihilate is is the hard part here. And I... I really wouldn't have... I don't know how I could have figured out that they were Citrus without swapping there. Oh! 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 Dragapult kinda... Kinda gross! <laughs> okay. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> now terrain is over. Please don't be sash. If there's Sash, that's really bad, but... Alright, cool. I'm like, I don't I don't know how, why they would be Sash. I'm pretty sure they're Specs. I would, have to, I would have to run the damage calc, but I think there's Specs there. And I think the fact that they locked into uh, Expanding Force is the only reason we won that. Man, that was a close game. Wicked close. So what did we learn today? Orangaroo is really freaking cool, man. It was able to do a lot, and I think we set Trick Room and, like, swept under Trick Room in every game except for the last one, where I made a read on turn one, it didn't work, and so then we instructed Dragapult, which is just so cool, too. Like, um, I, I really do think Orangaroo is very powerful. It has a lot of really unique things working for it, and I really enjoyed playing with it today. Uh, Arboliva, I wish, did a little more for us. It did win a game against Don Dozo, where it soloed the Don by itself, which is just awesome. Uh, Torkoal next to Orangaroo, obviously very powerful. House of Mouse, picked up a couple KOs today. Uh, I do personally prefer the, like, Technician sets, so you can be a little more offensive. But this set was really fun. And unfortunately, King Gambit never really got to do its thing. I think I, br I brought it one game. And unfortunately, it just like was not very good there. But I think that says more about the the matchups we ran into today, and not about the Pokemon itself. That being said, this team gets a solid solid thumbs up from me. Go pick it up, check it out, and uh, have some have some good time laddering with this. It's it's a fun time. And that being said, everyone, thank you so much for watching. As always, like, comment, and subscribe. And we'll see you next week with some more laddering. Have a good one. Peace.